who is not going to be the guy who is going to dominate an entire series. But when he goes off, he is absolutely a difference maker. He can be what sets Plot Twist apart from Alpine Esports by himself as Jordan will take this out. Taroko makes the challenge initially. Jordan got through. This will fall to Magic Bear, and he will set up for Percy, who's just a little bit late. Sosa took a wide turn in the corner. Having a tough time getting out, but Taroko will. He'll hit Sosa. Downfield they go. His first shot saved away by Percy. Things looking a little jumbled up here so far in game one. Oh, almost a breakaway chance. Percy puts a shot on. You see Sosa with the save. So far, most of the possession has gone towards the Alpine squad. But that being said, defense from Plato is holding firm. Great dodge of the demo from Sosa. Comes up and even makes a great challenge to send the ball the other way. Getting it done on both halves of the field. Now Taroko set up for Mekdos or Sosa, but nobody went as that ball was cleared away, but not for very long. It's coming right back into the zone. Mekdos all the way across because he couldn't get it down for Taroko. All Magic Bear can do is slow things down, but there is just a mess right now in the Alpine backfield, and they are lucky not to get scored on. Instead, they do get the ball downfield and at least can have a look towards the net, but again, the defense of Flat Twist up to the task as Jordan will have to make one save there. Now Percy has to get this out of the zone. He does. That was very late from Mekdos. I feel like maybe Flat Twist have let a couple opportunities go by the wayside here. Yeah, they have. I mean, they've had some really good breakaways, some solid pass plays too, but Alpine's defense has been working really well. I say that though, there have been some signs of concern. We've seen a big jumble on defense from them, but Plot Twist still has not been able to take advantage of it. So for Alpine, they have to get things together here. I mean, it's the early they have for the game, but a lead here works really well and momentum for both teams. So saw a high bouncer for Taroko, who's never afraid to charge in for a ball, but he uses his better judgment this time to slow up and at least force Jordan around him. Now Magic Bear shot on, easy save for Sosa, but they're going to have a tough time breaking out downfield, though that was aided by a giveaway by Alpine. Taroko's shot breaks past Jordan, but Magic Bear barely got there. And you can see Magic Bear just trying to play this out. There's Jordan. Finally, the pass comes through, but the shot is off target. Could have been a big transition there for Alpine. They'll have to try again now. Is Again, bottom half here of game number one. Both teams testing each other on defense, but so far, so good. We're tied 0-0. Sosa trying to center again. Might get a little help from Jordan here. As that ball got away from him. Mekdos, low roller is saved away. And Taroko just can't react in time. Alpine makes a huge stop and still they get stopped in midfield. They've had a few opportunities at counterattacks that have been significantly slowed down. Not completely stopped though, and it's Jordan who breaks through. No way, Alpine able to score a goal here off of a interesting transition. Great dunk from Magic Bear. And Mechdos pushes out too far forward. Jordan catches him slipping. And that's going to be the first goal for Alpine. And it comes very late in game one in what could be a low scoring series. Two teams that are very evenly matched. You would imagine just the slimmest of margins could be enough. Here's Jordan again. Met by Mechdos. And it's Mechdos who wins the race to follow up. But Magic Bear has this away very quickly, and that again slows down Plot Twist, but doesn't slow him down very much. That would look like a late call by Taroko as Mektos couldn't get a shot on target. And again, Alpine, kind of a mess defensively, Wait. but there was a collision at midfield between, I think it was Sosa and Mektos. And as a result, no, it's Mektos and Taroko, either way, Magic Bear into an empty net. This still goes back here just a little bit. If we could rewind further, you see Sosa at last back here, jumping up for a challenge, low boost. I believe Mechdos went up for the same one. Either way, they sent the house on offense for a play that didn't have a high quality chance of going in. And it just led to uh, everyone just scrambling back because no one was home. Magic Bear is able to read the defensive misplay and is able to come up with a goal. So a little bit shaky here from Plot Twist. They show signs of cracking, and now they're down two goals. 
Meanwhile, the Alpine defense, at times, has looked very sloppy, yet still throwing a shutout in game one, and it's mistakes like that at midfield that have absolutely killed Plot Twist. Another intercept by Percy. Jordan almost got there in time. Still time for Plot Twist to turn this game in particular around. Sosa needs a double, got it, and it's saved by Jordan. That was the opportunity for Plot Twist, but Sosa denied his 12th goal of the day, and that is gonna do it, especially if they score here, but Sosa does at least make the stop. Looking like it's gonna go 2-0 for the Alpine squad in game number one, but it wasn't without faults as we go into game two. Yeah, this game one definitely sloppy on both sides. I, I, I could see that. Alpine looked a little shaky. Uh, they actually kind of get away with this game, mainly due to the fact of Plot Twist not really being able to have consistent offensive pressure. Plot Twist had so many initial pass plays into shots, but lacked a third man follow up and consistent offensive pressure. Then, at some point, they try to go all in on an offensive play. Things break down. They get caught up from an Alpine counterattack, which we know is deadly. And now they end up dropping game one. That one's on plot twist. They have to regain going into game two. And again, not for lack of opportunities. Eight shots for plot twist in game one, but they just could not find the net. They had a couple good opportunities, a couple set up by Sosa in particular. Didn't get through. So the Alpine defense was literally just good enough to hold the line. See if they can repeat that on DFH Stadium in game number two. Got the kickoff at least going the right way, but Magic Bear gets there first. So is it really going the right way? Answer, no, as they are very lucky. Plot twist that nobody was crashing on the weak side for Alpine. Yeah, like you said, Plot twist, kind of get away with that one. Almost able to come up with a goal too. That was a good shot from Mechdos. Didn't have a lot of boost. So not able to get too much control. Mechdos comes up again, and that one almost floats in. A lot of pressure here for Plot Twist, but yet again, failing to make contact on the ball. It's gonna get away from him, and now Alpine are gonna try to move downfield. All the high hopes and expectations for these teams coming into stage two, and at the end of this series, we're gonna say goodbye to one of them, Taroko. Trying to get through Percy. That's a great challenge by Percy. Not letting that ball go anywhere near midfield, but Sosa's got it now. Sosa one-on-one -on -one with Magic Bear. Goes underneath him. Can he get around Percy? Yes, but Magic Bear gets back. Nice supporting defense as he recovers, and Alpine shuts the door again, but they have a quick counterattack. Oh, what a bump by Jordan. Just getting a piece of Mechdosa throwing him off, and that kills off the attack for Plot Twist for now. Yeah, Plot Twist attack. Hasn't come up with much here, but Alpine, you have to keep an eye on them too. They haven't really been able to set up any decent offense. That being said, no shots at all this game. So far, Jordan will get the first and Mechdos will get the first save. But it's been fairly quiet on the Alpine end as well as they have been spending most of this game on their own half. Magic Bear around one and through another. Nobody's gonna be home, so who takes it? Magic Bear, his second of the series. And if you look away, you, you miss it here. Sosa just doesn't get a piece of the ball on the challenge. It's another breakaway. Percy being generous. We'll, we'll give Magic Bear the goal for the stats. But Alpine taking the lead here. And again, it really does come down to plot twist right now, having to get things together. That commit from Sosa so early on the offensive half to try to keep pressure. But if no contact is made on the ball, then it's just a wide open net for Alpine. For Magic Bear, he joins the 10-goal club on the day. Hitting double digits with that goal exactly is now Sosa. On his way through, gonna drop that off for Taroko, but Jordan's there to make sure that doesn't go netward. But another couple of demos from Taroko. Finally, Plot Twist is gonna break through. They had to take out two-thirds of the defense to do so. I was gonna say, if you can't go around them stacks, you go through them, and that's exactly what happens. Taroko just demolishes the defense. Sosa gets the assist, and Mechdos will equalize this game. Well, it did take them two demos in quick succession and seven and a half minutes, but they do finally score in this series. Now what else can they do? They need to get one more to try and take the lead and take a game. Magic Bear, good stop on the side, but he's out of boost, and now Taroko up towards Percy, who had to get up there in a hurry, and he got that over to Jordan. 
Mektos has to have this. He does, but he threw it right down the middle. Fortunately, Sosa's there, and his challenge, not as good as Magic Bears. Now Jordan up top, and that's a great clear by Taroko as he had to react very quickly. He had to react really quickly, and also his position, he was really close to falling off the post there. He was. Gets up in time to make the stop. So again, great read and reaction from Taroko. He's needed again as he tries to push this to midfield. But more demos. Magic Bear, the shot's off. Jordan with the follow-up. Sosa's able to make the stop. And Magdos can come off the respawn and push this to midfield. He needs to pass this ball off to someone, though. He has no boost to work with. Sosa's going to have to play this. And he's got to find a way to slow down Alpine. He'll have to do it without Taroko. As Percy went into the Alpine net to uh, take him out. Now it's Taroko looking for Mekdos. Long time tandem. Does not connect for a goal here as Percy makes the stop. Now you can see just more pressure coming out here from Alpine, but plot twists are starting to manage the pace. They're looking so much more cleaner here as the game continues, but still, it's tied up. We're approaching the final minute here. Plot twists are looking to bounce back, and this is the game to do it, Stacks. If they drop two to Alpine, I don't know if they can reverse sweep here. So getting a goal is essential as the pass comes out. The shot from Taroko just off target. Here goes Percy, past Mektos, and not past Sosa. Big time stop, and he lands on the corner boost, and he's gonna need to use it to help out. Him and Taroko had a little miscommunication. I think they both kind of backflipped in the corner, so they give a free shot to Alpine, and Jordan's drive is saved by Sosa. Now what can he do with it? Trying to work around the corner, Percy has one clear, but it goes right to Mektos, and they had to jump in front yet again. The Alpine defense once again, Daz, they're just doing barely enough to keep ahead or at least level with Plot Twist. They are. Now Plot Twist are, again, starting to fight back. That's a pass into a shot. Sosa scores. They finally connect, Stax. The leading scorer on the team. Got to feed the hot hand. This time they do. And he just challenges Percy, who's a little slow. I mean, it's at point-blank range. Good luck anyways. 20 seconds left. Not much better time to score than that. Now they got to hang on. Jordan having a tough time getting out of his zone. Going to need some help. Not going to get any from anybody, so he does at least get this down to the corner. But Sosa hit it where they ain't. Percy double just wide. Magic Bear, one last chance for Jordan. No, they've got to ground this, and they do. Plot twist ties the series with that late strike from Sosa. It was late, but it was needed. Now, again, like you said, 1-1 one, one here in the series. The plot twist, the ability to come back here. They cleaned everything up. It was looking a little shaky earlier on in the game. But Taroko getting the double demo to set up Sosa and Mektos was huge. And then Mektos with the laser pass right to Sosa in front of the net. I mean, that's picture-perfect quality coming out from plot twist. So... Seeing how they're able to just completely come up with that play at a crucial time in game was very, very solid. It has been well-rounded shooting efforts for the most part. You did see Taroko with a bagel there with no shots on net, but that's not going to continue as this series rolls on. You can only slow him down for so long before, you know, game four rolls around and then it's the Taroko show. Here goes Magic Bear off the initial kickoff, and Mektos in an awkward spot on that cheat up. Could only play that deep to the corner. Taroko playing way back as he has had to for most of the wow. series. What a pickoff by Jordan! This play was almost all Jordan. Gets it for a demo Sosa, comes back out the net, sees Mektos with the touch and the backflip to redirect that in. Jordan starting things off on the right foot for Alpine. They were flirting with disaster for that entire opening 10 seconds, and this time Alpine made him pay. Now Sosa, double, oh, 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 bang, oh. bang! They're putting on a show for us here, Stax. Good read from Sosa. Like you said, the double. Beautiful Woo. placement for Sosa. Plot to his tie it back up. I mean, it could have been cleaner. It did bounce in, but that was sick. They may get one off the kickoff, too. Oh, what a play by Percy. Just let Taroko go right on by. Got to take the ball with him. 
Mechdos will throw one skyward, and Magic Bear is right there, but another roll on, and just wide goes that ball, and Jordan will have this very patient defending from Alpine, and as I say that, they double commit, and kind of throw each other off, but it's gonna be good enough. Kuroko's off the field for a moment. He respawns to make that save. Somebody's gotta get up to challenge Magic Bear, and Taroko at least gets the clear. Almost 2-1 there. Yeah, close chance here so far, but still tied up. Plotswists are looking to fight back as they are on a roll here, at least in terms of just changing up the pace. This one has definitely gotten so much faster. You see Sosa moving so fast, he almost forgot to hit the ball as play comes through Percy shots blocked from Sosa at the goal line that ball was halfway in stats wow again you talk about teams doing just enough now both teams they are being tested I'm shocked right now that this game is 1-1 because it feels like it could be 3-2 one way or the other Mekdos has to react to drop that back to the corner Taroko can't jump in time Percy puts Alpine back in front and you talk about the reaction from Mekdos. He feels like he needs to touch that one, but it bounces off the corner. Who's, good? Who's there to follow it up for plot twist? No one. Percy has a good look, and he puts on a really high-quality shot to give Alpine the lead. Because of that initial touch, Magic Bear now with two goals and three assists in the series. He is putting on a show right now, and he's also playing some solid defense. Starting Alpine out of the backfield here, intercepted by Sosa. And that Jordan up the wall again. Boy, Alpine just gets up so much faster than Plot Twist for everything on the walls. Taroko trying to beat out Magic Bear this time. Sosa's there as well as Taroko knocks Magic away. And Percy is there to swat the ball away. I mean, it feels like, Daz, that if Plot Twist is going to come back in this game, they've got to do it on the ground because right now they're just getting beaten everywhere in the air. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Alpine... The pass plays work out for them really well, but it's also the fake from Jordan here that kind of throws off, even says faking in the quick chat, even throws off Taroko just enough to where that ball goes in. The pass plays from Alpine are so deadly that you have to respect them, but that one really threw Taroko off guard. Mekdos is shot. They try to go through the air again. It doesn't work out this time. Follow up is saved, and Sosa's attempt goes well wide, and again, Black Twist turned aside. And Sosa even missed the uh, the back corner boost, so he's going to be in a tough spot. Did manage to get up there for that ball, but now nobody's at the back. Mekdos has to scramble back from midfield just to get a touch on that and keep the ball out of harm's way. But all that's happening is Plot Twist is just throwing the ball in a general direction, not really towards a teammate. And Alpine just sitting at the back, waiting to start another counterattack. Another shot on this time. Nope, not set on by Mekdos. And again, Plot Twist have to go back to the drawing board as they've been stymied and frustrated by Alpine. Oh, that's a good demo. Taroko, though, almost a chance to move that one all the way back downfield. Mektos will get a good touch, but you bring up a great point about Alpine just sitting here letting Plotswist boom the ball downfield so they can turn it around and turn it into a team play. Look at how much space Jordan has in the midfield, completely uncontested as he's able to get so much room and so much possession downfield to Alpine. Oh, is that going to fall? Magic Bear almost had a good look, but Taroko saves those. One great thing about the Alpine attack when they do get down into the plot twist end, a lot of teams will go outside in. They're willing to go inside out, work from the center, get the ball out to the wing and get a shot on from there. And it has led to at least a few of their goals so far. This goes all the way back into the plot twist corner and taroko has got to give up the boost to go after it. Can he set up Sosa? Sosa's going to come in behind him, but again, they just can't get this ball center. And once again, Magic Bear has another clear for Alpine. Mayfell still trying to boom this downfield. I mean, we do need to see more of those team plays coming out from Plot Twist. It really just has not been, well, what they're doing right now hasn't been as successful. This one might be a play. Mekdos, will it fall? Someone put it in. It'll be Taroko. He'll bring Ooh. this game within one for Plot Twist. Man, that ball didn't go in. You might as well have ended the series because if you can't score there, I'm just not going to. <laughs> My goodness. And they almost did get that cleared. Thank goodness Taroko was there. It gives Plot Twist at least a chance. But that ball's going absolutely nowhere. Right to Magic Bear. Boy, Taroko pre-jumped this, though, so he's at least able to set up Sosa. 
They can't clear the zone as Mechdos is there to challenge Magic Bear. Looking to hit up Turoko, and Magic is right there to make sure that ball didn't get out from the back wall at all. Oh, good chance for Mechdos trying to, again, not give Alpine any more time here. Pass play, almost connecting. Magic Bear able to get it in time. At this point, stacks the clock, ticket down. Plot twist, they're going to need a play here soon. Got to read where these passes are going. Mechdos, just another boom downfield. Dump and chase. They're not getting away from what they feel gives them the best chance to win, but they've got one second. Now they got to keep the ball in the air, and Percy swats it right back down. Field, Mechdos at least kept this up. But now Sosa's got to get over there, and that's a great job by Percy, Ooh. shielding Sosa off the ball. They got a shot on that almost ended it, but now Sosa can get this downfield. Taroko denied. Magic Bear, I think, just got a touch, and this will end game three. You got to respect Plot Twist's ability at zero seconds, though, to keep that wow. up. They bring it all the way around field and almost actually put on a good shot chance. Taroko was a little bit faster there, then that goes in. And it comes down to that, but we need some of those types of team plays to come out from Plot Twist over the course of the game. It's great to they can clutch up here in final moments, but when they come together, instead of just giving away possession as easily as they do, they're able to perform on a high level. And you're going to need that when taking down this Alpine esports team that is just so good when they play well. I mean, I even called it the Alpine special, the way that they have so many solid pass plays. They've been doing a consistent job on defense and offense, and now they're, they're on match point here. On match point as we go to the Forbidden Temple. Champions Field awaits if Plot Twist can force Game 5, but it feels like such a long road back after they had to fight so hard just to get to within one at the end of that last game. Here goes Percy, looking for a mistake out of plot twist. There have been plenty to take advantage of, but that's a great win by Sosa. Right place, right time to set up Taroko. Oh. And this is what I talked about, Daz. You can only keep him down for so long. Eventually, Taroko's just gonna get sick of being passive and take over this series. Good Look happen at him. here. Look he at certainly him. does. He's the striker of this plot twist team. And like you said, he's done playing around. Sneaky pass from Mektos and the floater from Taroko. Percy, you're not touching that one. That's a great start here for plot twist. Eventually, it, it's every tournament I've ever seen Taroko play. And Daz, you and I have seen him play a lot. Eventually, he just says, you know what? Give me the ball and get out of my way. Oh, man. Here, here's Mechdos just beaten out there, but Sosa's going to have that ball. Around Magic Bear. Here's Taroko again. Good luck. Leave it for Mechdos off the challenge. That's saved away by Jordan. But now Alpine's going to have to work because now Plot Twist is playing with a sense of urgency that they kind of lacked until about the final minute of regulation in that last game. Ooh, look at that. Mechdos with the pre-jump. Doesn't matter if he gets bumped. Keeps the ball Ooh. in midfield. Percy trying to play things around. That's a high ball. Good read again for Mechdos. You talk about this sense of urgency from Plotswist. This is a game they want to win here. Big in terms of just their overall story as a team. And for them, they're sending everything they got out here on Forbidden Temple right now. They have the lead. But wait, it gets through them. And Jordan will come up with a goal. Uh, okay. Duroko side flip. Uh, you know, well, that was all set up, by the way, by the demo on Turoko, not like 10 seconds before that. He was sitting there waiting for a pass from Mechdos. It never got there because they took him off the field. Oh! And so he came off the respawn, and then Mechdos makes good on everything that just happened over the last 20 seconds. The fake Whoop. into the touch, goes for the bump, and then Taroko just speeds through to follow it up. Solid play right off the kickoff to put Plot Twist back in the lead. Taroko's got three goals. Mechdos has four assists. Yes, there's a correlation here. This goes wide, but Mechdos is on the far side. Sosa coming on. That's saved away. And Jordan will at least try to get this out of the zone, but Taroko is lurking. He may have to make a save. Oh, what a stop by Sosa. Just getting in Percy's way, but nobody stayed at the net, and Magic Bear ties the game. You cannot give these clean looks here to Alpine because they will take these goals any day of the week. You see two people jumbled up in the corner, no wood home. Magic Bear's not going to miss that opportunity. Why did Sosa go to the corner there? 
He couldn't have been looking for boost. There was already somebody over there. Well, whatever. Hey, 2-2. Two, two. Sosa. Now he's got to try and make amends here for plot twist. And by make amends, I mean just give the ball to Taroko. This skips all the way to the corner. And it will be Mekdos and Sosa. Sosa's shot is blocked by Jordan. Now here goes Magic Bear. Good pass upfield, but Mekdos jumps in front of it. And Taroko and Magic Bear have a little collision. Taroko may not come all the way back, though. He's going to be lurking at midfield. Sosa sets him up, and Magic Bear makes sure he doesn't get there. Oh, that's a good challenge for Mekdos. Two last back on the play to keep it in. Plot twists are getting speedy here. That's a big demo to take Sosa out. He was lining that shot up. The transition's coming out left and right. These teams are starting to battle here, Stax, as it keeps moving downfield. Plot twist knocking at the door, but Alpine trying to seal it shut. Can Taroko find the ball? No one can. Someone hit it. Mekdos. Oh, oh it's my off the post. goodness. Unbelievable that that doesn't go in for them. That ball was just sitting there like a top spinning and nobody could give it that final push across the line. Now Magic Bear rolls one in front that has to be dealt with by Mekdos. Remember that moment if Plot Twist is not able to come back in this series. Percy will stop this at midfield. Jordan's already down there and that's dangerous. It's Percy, Jordan, who's gonna take it? Jordan for Percy gives Alpine the lead. And Alpine, like I said, they were pushing against Plot Twist, and Plot Twist tried to push back. You see Jordan getting pushed on that play. Still able to get a perfect pass out for Percy. Top left corner. That's a big goal to give Alpine the lead here. All after Plot Twist could not force that ball across the line with everybody just flailing around. Mekdos blocks Magic Bear, and Sosa will collect, but taroko has got to get downfield. Or Sosa's got to come up with something out of his bag of tricks. Well, he got by one, but Percy makes the stop. So now Taroko on his horse to get back, and Sosa's going to be there in the corner. Down to a minute 20 for Plot Twist, or their tournament's over if they don't score. Another big booming clear, this time leading to a shot from Jordan. Can he follow that? No, it's going to be well wide. And Sosa will have a look at this, and he'll have a little bit of time, but Jordan made a quick turn and cut off that time. Taroko shots well wide. Follow up from Sosa's blocked by Percy. Now at this point, Plot Twist have to dig deep here if they want to stand a chance here and tie this up. Mekdos is going for some bumps, but no one can challenge Jordan. So much time and boost spent. Now they have to chase this one downfield. There's the fake. Shot comes up high. No follow up. Taroko off the back wall, but who's there? Everyone's in the blue net. Magic Bear will turn it around and put it in. A two goal lead here for Alpine with 37 seconds left. Four goals in the series to go with three assists. Magic Bear, MVP. Two goal lead now with 37 seconds to go. It is clutch or kick time for Plot Twist. At least a good start as Sosa's got that cross field. Magic Bear dumped by Taroko, trying to center for Sosa, and it sailed high. Percy got in the way. Oh, Sosa almost trying to find another one, but it doesn't go through. They're still on top of the ball. Well, they're trying to get on top of the ball. This might be a chance. No, blocked again. And it's off the backboard. There's always someone third man. It's just a little too far forward. Has to take it back from their own end. And at this point, Stax, this is all but over. Alpine able to take the series here against Plot Twist. In four games, Plot Twist put up a good fight. But the run ends here. Alpine stay alive. Yeah, Plot Twist goes out in the fourth round. Alpine will live to fight another day in round five. Eight shots from Taroko. <laughs> hey, he tried. Yeah. He tried to do what we've seen Taroko do time and time again. Bring his team back from the brink of elimination. It didn't work out this time. And Alpine Esports, boy, what a performance from Magic Bear. And after all that, by the way, two goals, two saves, he's still on the bottom of the scoreboard. That tells you how much Alpine does around him as they move on into round five. Yeah, that's really important to pay attention to just how well those guys are doing too. I mean, the pass plays, they play really consistent there for uh, being just, you know, kind of like down in the dumps as of recently. But looking at 
plot twist over the course of this series. I really do feel like they beat themselves in this case. There were so many different opportunities. They had so much offensive pressure. And just like that ball that ended up floating in front of the net in the middle of game four, they were that close. But uh, you're right, you know, uh, they just couldn't couldn't execute when they needed to. So their run ends here. But congrats to Alpine. Very solid performance. And now they're one away from playoff stacks. One away. One away indeed. Another team that has, well, two teams that have a foot in the grave are coming right up. The Pittsburgh Knights and Jamal Jabari, both one and two as well. Let us know who you think is going to win on Twitter. Sound off using the hashtag RLCSX. Tweet us at RLE Sports as we get ready for the Pittsburgh Knights and Jamal Jabari. Somebody likewise going through in round five and somebody else wondering what might have been when we come back. 